Barb, Amy here, your local real estate gal. Today I want to let you know five of the most important things I think you should do when prepping your house to get ready to sell it. There's a whole bunch of things that you can do prior and I actually offer a 30 day seller guide that you can do in 30 days or you can do it quicker but it lists through all the different things that I suggest you do prior to listing your home. But today I'm going to go over the five key things that I feel you should do prior to even talking to an agent basically. Okay, so first, get all the minor repairs done. Things like light switches fixed, holes in your walls fixed, um, repainting baseboards, changing light bulbs, things like that to just really make the home look 100% perfect and move in ready. These go miles when it comes to buyers coming to take a look because they come in there and they see your house and they're like, wow, this is moving ready. I don't have to do anything. That's perfect um, way to display your house. Number two is start decluttering, moving things like family photos, trophies, awards, decluttering the cabinets to make them look bigger, decluttering counter spaces to make them look um, clean and presentable. Um, you want to clean out linen closets, underneath your cabinets, all those kinds of things to really make it look bigger than what it may be. If you have all your stuff in there and it's stacked to the top, it's going to look over full and the people are going to assume, buyers are going to assume that that's a really tiny closet where you have it more empty, just a couple things in, they'll think it's, wow, this is a nice big closet, these, underneath these covers are awesome and things like that. So declutter and moving all of your family photos and things like that really helps people see themselves in there and not your family. Okay, so number three, freshen up those yards. If you drive past a house and it has weeds and um, overgrown trees and all those kinds of things, messy rocks, messy grass, are you going to be impressed? Probably not. So clean up your front yards. Make sure that your trees and bushes are nicely trimmed and looking pretty. There's no weeds because you don't want weeds. Nobody wants to see weeds. It's just another chore to have to do when they move in. And make sure your rocks or grass are nice and clean. First impressions go a long way. And you actually really want to do this in the backyard too because this is where people are going to see themselves hanging out with their family, having parties, barbecues, um, mini get-togethers, watching football, playing in the pool, things like that. So make sure your backyard is just as clean, if not cleaner, than the front yard. Again, weeds, clean your pool, um, mow your grass, all those fun things. Make sure it looks pristine for when people come to take a look. And then this is one thing, so number four, this is one thing I think is really smart to do. Um, not all agents are going to say that, not all people find it really important, but I do. Uh, getting your preference in so, your carpets, I mean, they probably look fine, but when you get them clean, they leave that nice, fresh, carpet clean smell, and, I mean, carpets, the carpet clean is always smell good, too, so, and it looks newer than what it might have looked when it wasn't clean, so that's always a nice thing. And getting your tile clean. Grout can look really dirty over time, and if you get it cleaned right before you list it, it'll be nice and clean for the whole time, and it's just one more thing people are like, oh, wow they just put brand new tile and carpet into this house. It smells amazing in here. So, and that's another thing. It's a nice, fresh, clean smell and everybody wants a clean house. So, that's number four. And then, of course, number five, selecting an agent. This is probably one of the most important things, but you want to get the rest done first. So, you want to find a realtor who is someone you can talk to, someone you're comfortable with, um, somebody who you can see you be friends with because you're going to be with this person through a lot and they're going to help you through thick and thin when it comes to the entire contract and all of that kind of stuff. So you want to you want to really, really like this person and not feel uncomfortable going to them with all your questions because you're probably going to have a lot of questions. So, so yeah, those are the five things that I would recommend doing prior to listing your house. Um, again, if you want more information or you would like to take advantage of my 30-day seller guide, just comment below or send me an email or text to 480-577-4496. I'll put my email and the rest of my information in the um, comments below. Thanks guys, have a great day.